last night we got our first taste of the fictional Fargo on yeah. FX. Yeah, you know, I thought yeah. it was, uh, I suppose you watched that? <laughs> yeah, I suppose the guy did, yeah. yeah. Jeez. Um, a lot of people talking about it then, huh? I know, I know. Pack, packed house at the Fargo. Yeah, you were over there, huh? Yeah, 870 people, wow. Oh, Jeez. oof, Jeez. oof. All right. Man, it was hot in there. Was it? Yeah, they turned on the heat. Oh boy, in April? Yeah, in April. Huh. Go figure. Yeah. Jeez. Um, so, uh... <laughs> it's hard to keep this accent up. It is. It is. And did they do a good job with the accents? That's that's the first thing people yeah. want. Yeah. So, um, I think everybody today is talking about the show itself, but let's ta let's talk about the, the Midwest fargo right. stuff. So, the accents, I thought, were all pretty good because they didn't do it over the top except for Colin Hanks. Yeah. His his was notably bad. And, and we saw clips of that in the... In the the, the clips that came out, the kind of the, some of the previews, he seemed a bit... That, that but, you know, his dad has been to West dead. Fargo, That's so true. maybe maybe he picked it up there. Um, he brought it back from him. <laughs> yeah, from TNT. I went to West Fargo and all I got was this Stupid accent. accent. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay, so this is my my bone to pick this morning, and it's a totally... Your axe to grind? Yeah, <laughs> good one. Um, but I'm really hammering on this detail. Too soon. But um, it, I, they kept saying, you know, they talk about the weather, which we do because, you know, it snowed this morning and... We're complaining. We're complaining. It is April, though. Look at the weather out there. I know. But um, so they talk about the weather. They got that right. But they did the oh yeah, it's negative ten or minus ten. They did it both ways. Right. Neither of which are correct. We say it's ten below. Don't you know? Is it, do we always say? Well, then we too tall. Schmansky would say below the donut. That that's true. That would be but a colorful way. The word way. below was in there, and it, it did bother me that they did that. Plus, you Don't know, we never say below. We always say below. That's what I'm oh, saying. Oh. We don't say negative 10 or minus 10. Oh. And also, if it's the dead of winter and it's really cold, sometimes negative 10 feels really good. Can feel, can feel, it feels better. Well, not good. Better. Feels better. Yeah. Feels better. Um, so what do you think about all the blood? You know, it was one of those things. You kind of had to expect it, knowing the source material in Fargo. I mean, they ground somebody up in a wood chipper. Right. In the movie. A couple people. And, or one person. Yeah, anyway. But uh, at, the Fargo, at the Fargo Theater, there was audible gasps when uh, Lester Nygaard... Spoiler alert. ...clunks his wife over the head with a hammer. And I think people were... They did kind of play it up. The, the show plays it up for comedy because she's got this stunned look on her face and then blood... And then he just starts, well, hammering away. And going, and I'll never think of, oh, geez, oh, geez, oh, geez. I'll never think of it the same way. I'll never be able to watch The Hobbit again. Oh, gosh, Bilbo. <laughs> Bilbo. Poor, crazy, murderous Bilbo. And I love that about Lester. I love that about Lester. After he does that, he immediately starts thinking, we well, think that he thinks that he needs help, so he's going to call his buddy Lauren Malvo, the killer around town. But he's really going to frame him for that, which I thought was genius. That's where the show really won me over. Yeah, no, I I um, kept saying to myself, "Oh my gosh!" So the police show up. They shoot the 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 first police person. The second police person's coming. He's trying to figure out what am I going to do? I have two bodies laying in my house. Yeah. And so he runs himself into the wall, and I was just like, "Lester, you're a genius." Yeah, he is devious. He is I, devious. I couldn't figure out how they were going to go nine more episodes after. Four people died in the first. It's a tough one. It's, and you, you thought you thought you were really close to a fifth at the end when the Colin Hanks character, Gus yep. Graham, uh, runs into... Russ but he wussed out. B yeah, Billy Bob Thornton. He chose the path of light, not the path of darkness. Oh, good one. Yeah. it's a, That's Indeed. the interesting thing, too, is that Billy Bob Thornton's character is probably more like... Anton Chigurh in No Country for Old Men than the bumbling crooks, the bumbling <laughs> plus thugs. Plus the hair. Plus the hair. Totally plus got the, the hair. hair. Uh, but, the, but the thugs, Steve Buscemi and Peter Stormare in the original Fargo. Um, this is a guy who's really kind of complex. He's got kind of a, a moral code. It's screwed up, but at least he's living by a code. Uh, and I think he is also, he's the most interesting character. Oh, yeah. Well, Lester and Billy Bob. What's Billy Bob's? Lauren Malvall. Yeah, yeah. The great characters. Which is, which is kind of opposite of the actual Fargo movie where the best character, I mean, by far, is Marge Gunderson, who is really kind of the virtuous one. She's the one who's, she's got her own moral code and it's living by the law, doing the right thing, uh, doing right by others. And what if 
They're wrong. That's right? the whole the whole message of this one as the little fishy poster. So I got a question for you. Yeah. As a woman, what did you think of the portrayal of women? I thought it was really negative and I'm kind yeah. of waiting Naggy. for I'm waiting for a lot of backlash on this because the the wives especially Naggy, naggy, Midwest even, passive aggressive. Yeah, even the even the, the the pregnant wife who's sympathetic, but you know, she's so undecisive. And even the cop. She's really she's really insecure. You no, know, I got really um, upset when they, you know, they did the first scene where they find the first body and the the female cop is kind of portrayed as like she doesn't know what she's like doing. fresh out of school. Yeah, but Not as it went on, school. I think that her character will turn out, yeah. I mean, it's clear she's going to turn out to she, be the, the savior, the one who yeah. figures it all out. Um, and so I thought by the end of the episode, they'd come around a little bit and she'd, you know, thought about, well, the first guy hadn't been the one driving because he would have hit his head. This guy didn't have a head wound. So I thought like by the end of the episode, they were they were raising her character up a little bit. But yeah, I had that thought of, you know, we all know those passive aggressive Midwestern moms in our lives, but we're not all like that. And in fairness, actually every character in the show is a bit of a there's a there's a bit of a flaw with every character. Some flaws are pretty big. Actually the only other character who probably doesn't have that was the sheriff or the cop, the head cop who gets Oft. Yeah, he does. So. Well, and, you know, really, they could get out some of their passive aggressiveness by swearing. Because that was one thing that really bothered me about the show, is that they made it out that these people never swear. Like, it was, oh, heck, and oh, geez, and for Pete's sake. And and obviously, as we saw, FX will push the boundaries when it comes to what they'll show, which is a lot of, well, sex. Who knew there was a strip club in Bemidji? Yeah, well, apparently... Uh, some people did. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, uh, the death the death rate has um, quadrupled in Bemidji after one episode, yeah. and there's a s strip club. There's a strip club. But no swearing. <laughs> but there's a crime syndicate coming out of Fargo. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah. Every time they said that, it made me laugh. Well, and I'm, you kind of wonder, too, if that's uh, small townism looking at the big city Fargo mm -hmm. and saying that. That was the hashtag crime. that was trending every time they mentioned the big Fargo crime syndicate was big city. Big city. Big so, city crime. Yeah, it'll be interesting. So much happened in the first episode that I'm very curious to see where it goes from here. So are you hooked in? I'm hooked. I'm definitely hooked. How about you? I definitely. I, I give it a lot of credit. I was I was really dubious going in, uh, and they, like I said, they won me over in... The last half hour, it was a slow build, but just kind of yeah. like the Coen Brothers movies, when I things heard it, happen. I had a couple they, people, we were live tweeting it, and a couple people were logging off about 20 minutes in saying, I'm bored. And, you know, you got you got to build a story. People hang on, in there. Come on. But, yeah, by the end, yep. hoo-wee. Yeah, I'm in.